dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Hi! Welcome back to another L and J adventure. Where are we off to? We are going to Florida tomorrow morning. Yes, we're speaking to you at the moment from the Sofitel at Gatwick Airport because, as Jenny mm -hmm. says, tomorrow we are flying to Orlando, Florida, for seventeen nights, going to Walt Disney World and Universal Studios. Um, obviously, for any of those for those of you who um, saw our previous announcement video, you'll know all about that. For those of you who haven't seen it, um, we, like I say, have got a bumper holiday planned. We're joined by other people on this trip. We are. Um, who you will meet shortly. Um, there's seven of us going in total. So on this holiday, we're going to be joined by uh, my mum, my stepdad, my sister, my brother-in-law and my niece. Um, we'll introduce them all later. We will introduce them all later. Um, but yeah, we're really excited, aren't we? Like, literally. Do you know what? I'm sat here thinking like, I actually don't feel... Like it's that it's like, happening. Yeah, it's like that pre-holiday surreal feeling at the moment. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. Um, and relieved that this time around we're not having to do any tests of any kind That's the really day before nice. our trip. Yeah. Um, but for those of you who don't know us, um, I am Liam. I'm Jen. And uh, L&J Adventures, we are predominantly a Disney vlogging channel, um, all things sort of musical, theatre, that kind of thing. But on this occasion, obviously, it's a Walt Disney World and Universal vlog series. Um, so if you like what you see, um, then please do like and subscribe um to follow along we're gonna have so many vlogs coming your way yeah. um in the next few months um we've got so many dining plans extra experiences um on the horizon so we're really excited aren't we i'm just so happy to be here it's like the holiday has begun like everything is packed yeah. everything we are taking with us is in this room and it's like oh my god this is it we're going i know it doesn't feel real does it but um yeah so t today uh this afternoon um we've got here what's the time at the moment it's about it is 20 past three 20 so past we, three we checked in at about three didn't we yeah so check in at the sofitel at the um north terminal, north terminal uh is around 2 p.m so uh, we actually left it a bit later we checked in about sort of 20 minutes ago um the sort of porter at the door was brilliant took yeah, all our cases really put it on the because we had the, the wheelchair rack. yeah two big cases two cabin cases yeah exactly so yeah but we had it was a lot really of stuff. really nice a friendly at the reception desk as well looks lovely really impressed mm -hmm. first impressions of the soft tail we're gonna have to um, walk around we will yeah so around the hotel we obviously will, we've yeah. only Shown our room, right. yeah. Yeah, shown your, yeah, so we'll put in in a second a room tour that we filmed a moment ago of when we first got in here. So just to show you what the room's like. But yeah, we'll, um, we've got booked in tonight for the restaurant here called Vivre um, with everybody else, of course. Um, so we're going to have dinner there later. Before that, we're hoping to do the like um, Twilight bag drop, is it called? Yes, I think that's what it's called. So we can check in our, our big cases tonight, um, get that all done and out of the way. So then we don't have to carry as much tomorrow um so all our like big liquids all our you know tweezers everything like that can go tonight mm -hmm. um so then we're just gonna have our cabin thing yes, so we will. really happening yeah it is i think it's gonna feel even more real when we've dropped our big bags yeah. off but yeah we're gonna jump on the the shuttle obviously tonight take them across hopefully get the check-in and that sorted and then yeah and then we'll be good to go we can have dinner we can chill we can relax watch some tv have a cup of tea in bed, oh, I love unwind a bit, and then um, we've got an early start tomorrow because our flight with British Airways is at 10.40. Um, and then, um, yeah, we're going to go obviously go and grab breakfast, the usual stuff that people do at the airport. And uh, obviously we're using um, assisted passage as well. So yeah. those who don't know, um, obviously yourself, Jenny, you are um, yeah. you have disabilities. I have a couple of disabilities and health conditions. So um, this year we've brought our own wheelchair with us for airport. Um, just because usually with assisted passage, um, they can offer you a wheelchair, but it's only after you've kind of like already checked in and et cetera, et cetera. So we've brought our own um, to help out with that. Um, and also like when we land at MCO to kind of help mm -hmm. get me th off the plane through all of that jazz um, yeah, to exactly. our Connect. Um, yes, our Miss Connect. And uh, there's so much to tell you, so we can't do it all in this one kind of intro bit. But um, yeah, my mum will also be using a wheelchair and uh, We'll be using an ECV in the parts, which you'll see more of um, in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, so I'm just trying to think if there's anything else to kind of let you know in this intro bit. 
Um, obviously, we're getting assisted. I'm passage. just overwhelmed with overwhelmed. excitement. I have ah, no idea what to share. It. We're flying into the new Terminal C yeah. at MCO Orlando Airport, which um, allegedly, like the immigration queues and that, are a lot quicker there. Hopefully, it's a bit more spread out. So walking wise, but obviously that's why we got the wheelchair. Might yeah. be a bit tricky. Um, but yeah, that'll be exciting. You um, a little bit sad we're not going to see the flag. Um, I know it's nostalgic because we both went growing up, didn't we? Yeah, so it's exactly. nice to kind of yeah. see that. But it's fine. We saw it last year on our last vlog series. Absolutely. Um, um, yeah. But if you want to follow along um, any of this, then please do follow our Instagram and TikTok, which is at Liam Jen Adventures. Mm -hmm. um, I'll put it along the bottom of the screen. Um, and yeah, you will obviously update you as we're going throughout this trip. Um, you'll kind of see stuff. I mean, we put it in the announcement video as well, so a lot of stuff will probably be up by this point. Um, but yeah, please do follow along on that. And uh, we'll share everything from Disney and Universal with you that we possibly can. We are so excited. I can't wait. I'm so happy to be here and to be going tomorrow morning. It exactly, feels really yeah. surreal. But we've got a little bit of time now just to chill, probably do a little bit of a tour of the hotel so you can see it. Yeah, I want to have a look um, around. It looked, look that around. foyer looked really nice. So we're when, on the first floor, so we're not, I think, it, was it eight or nine floors? Yeah, something like that. It's massive. So it's, it's really, really cool when you look into the centre. I'm sure mm. we'll go for a little wander and we'll show you in a minute. Yeah, but we're big Disney fans. We went to Orlando last year, as I said, we got engaged didn't we, we did. um so if you want to see that please do check out that series that was our first series we were new to vlogging at that time we think we've improved quite a bit since then hopefully <laughs> we've also been to disneyland paris earlier this year so please do go and check that out if you like disneyland paris we'll have a disneyland paris trip coming up but the focus for now is orlando during spooky season um we're going for halloween well before halloween but um disney world universal very excited let's go let's go so we've this is our room tour um as you can see this just where you put your card in to get the light on we've got a little kettle and sort of tea and coffee station bit here ironing board if you really need one i think spare spare pillow or something up there um obviously our cases ready to go a little mirror there a jenny in the corner <laughs> as always um this is our bed looks nice nice and big um yeah so we've got our bed there and obviously that's looking towards tv a little bit of art the jenny again table and chairs and that um don't know about view wise what we've so that is uh the tunnel that we'll be going across and that takes us into the north terminal and obviously anyone who knows uh um florida you, you'll fly from the south terminal at gatwick so we'll just have to get a little shuttle across tomorrow won't we yeah but oh my god it's the first ride of the holiday it's the first ride of the holiday and you cannot get much closer than that and then it's our little bathroom. I've actually been here yet. This first time, right here. Very nice. Very nice. Mirror there, that's me. And uh, yeah, we've got the shower. A little sort of um, rainfall shower as well. Reminds me of the one in City Suites in Manchester. And then your toilet there. It's really nice. It's really spacious. There's lots of floor space to like mm. any cases and Oh, yeah, 100%. That. Yeah, 100%. Space for the wheelchair there as well. I think we're happy. Good squish. Yeah, Good I like squish. it. Also meant to say, uh, plugs, always worth knowing what you've got. So you've got the uh, little USB ones and then the uh, normal plug there too. So that's always handy uh, for your charges and that. first two stragglers of the trip so we've got my mum hi and uh, my mum michelle and we've got my stepdad john hello um so you guys just arrived at the sofitel as well you're kind of quite near us aren't they and they've got a nice view of the monorail here. i know we just saw it go by which is cute yeah. but yeah, doing a meet and greet Yes, you had the meet and greet. Amazing. Yeah. Very good service. Yeah. So how does that work? You just drop your car and they... Just drive into the car park, uh -huh. um, hand in your keys and up you come. Perfect. And yeah, when you nice. get back, they meet you at the other end. At the South, South Terminal. Terminal. Yeah, yeah nice. that's really good. Like, you've dropped it off at North Terminal, but then the car's there for you at South when you yeah. land. Like, I Hopefully. didn't know they did that. Fingers crossed. So. That was yeah, fingers crossed. Car. <laughs> definitely or an upgrade. Extra can you remember how much it was, roughly? I can always put it in after, if not. 
No. No, okay. I'll put it in on the bottom of the screen. Um, I but think it was about 365 with the hotel as okay. well as parking with the meeting. That's included, yeah. yeah. So they did offer us uh, both the chance to upgrade, didn't they? But we both turned it down. Mm -hmm. um, I think that included some like drinks and stuff, but we thought it wasn't worth it. But yeah, we're all here now. Are you Very excited? excited. Yeah. Very excited. What stage of the holiday? What are you, mo excited. What are you both mm -hmm. most excited for the whole holiday? One thing, putting you on the spot. Dinosaur ride. The dinosaur ride Dinosaur ride at Animal Kingdom. Ride. Yeah. And hot fudge sundaes. Very good. And John? You know this one. Just Universal as a whole. Just Universal. <laughs> all, all the Universal. And, and staying at Universal yeah. for the first time as well. Absolutely. Yes. Aventura, yeah, so, yeah, but well, well, large. too many things to look forward to, really, to pull out one. Yeah, that's quite a harsh yeah. question, but yeah. Yeah, right. it'd be a good trip. We're very excited. Yeah. So, we are in the, um, like I say, we're in the soft hotel now. We've just met um, Mum and John. Um, but we're uh, yeah really excited. We're still awaiting um, my sister Amanda, brother-in-law Josh, and my niece Rosie. They'll be here soon. Um, but yeah, we're all checked in and everything at the Sofitel. We're going to head for dinner, as I said earlier, at the Viva restaurant later tonight. So I think we're just going to chill a bit. Might go and grab a drink in the bar shortly, and then we will hopefully be able to take our bags across um, to the other terminal, get the early bag drop off, etc. And then um, we'll be off for dinner. So very exciting times. <laughs> A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy. So we've also been joined by my sister Amanda, hello. my brother-in-law Josh, and my little niece Rosie. Rosie, say hello. Where are we going? Are we going to go to Disney World? She's got her Minnie Mouse yeah. ready. You're very excited, aren't you? So excited, and it's Rosie's first holiday. You're going to give some tips on along the way. Yeah, on I can a... help with some tips on toddler travel, what to bring with you. Toddlers and, and Disney. Also, yeah, toddlers all around Disney as we go, and also gluten free. Very nice. Well, we love your cases, and we're going to go and drop them off now. Yeah. Let's go. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. eating tonight, Vivre. This is their menu on here. Actually looks a little bit different to the one online, but looks good nonetheless. So our drinks have arrived. I've just gone for a standard Diet Coke. What wine have you got there? We've gone for a Pinot Grigio Rosé. Pinot Grigio Rosé. And John, what have you got Cobra. to drink? Cobra. Cobra, very nice. Cobra. <laughs> Let the holiday begin. So our antipastos arrived, haven't they? Our starter, yeah. So we've, it's a bit of a running theme here, isn't it? We've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have quite a few, don't we? <laughs> Rosie's got her tea as well. It's just like a pasta. So yeah, it's pretty good. We'll see how it tastes. So I polished that off. They uh, actually gave us a bit of some balsamic as well uh, to go with that, which was good, and some butter as well because it was a bit dry otherwise. Enjoying it? Yeah, you're doing quite a lot of meat actually. Approved? Oh, enjoyed it? Yeah. Approved? Yeah. John came in second, I think I won that. Oh, I can't compete with Liam. I talk too much when I eat, that's why I'm always far behind. Yeah, you're, you're miles behind. I know, I'm enjoying the flavours. I'm taking your time. The Enjoy. So we've had our first uh, casualty of the, the trip. No, no, show it off. No, show it off. Nothing wrong with me. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Go away, Liam. How many shirts have you had to pack for this trip? <laughs> I've got a lot of shirts. Yeah, we can it, see why now. And it's on the white bit of the shirt. It's like, <laughs> I can't even disguise it, can I? Oh, no. It's done. It's done. Yeah, that was, that's, that's what it was. It was a pasta. <laughs> Rosie threw it out. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be eating it, kids meals there. Exactly. No, this is why you shouldn't be eating their pasta. <laughs> um, I'm gonna Mains have arrived, so I've just gone for a beef burger. I'm going to start as I mean to go on on this holiday. Just got a little mayo with that. Lovely. What have you got? I went for the carbonara and I had it baked yes, with the extra... The Al Forno. That seems to be yeah. a, been a popular choice. 
So you're gluten free? Josh. Nice. It's really delicious. So they've substituted the um, yeah, tagliatelle for gluten free penne, is that right? Yeah. Very nice. And we've got a chicken burger over here as well. So let's tuck in. All done. It's nice. Nothing to like massively write home about, but it was tasty. What was it? You had the beef burger? Beef burger, yeah. yeah. yeah I think it was about 18 pounds, but um, it's alright, it's nice. Well, I had the, the tagliatelle carbonara, didn't I? I tasted a bit of that, it was really nice. Quite, quite a few of us had that. Um, we did, yeah. I didn't want anything too rich before the flight tomorrow, so uh, <laughs> yeah, it was good. And then, Some kind of a yeah. curry, isn't it? Rosie's dessert isn't as, well, I don't think she's up for it now, is she? But it wasn't as nice as, um, as it looked. No, yeah, it's not like a chocolate, it's like a dipping sauce. Yeah. So. But, I mean, I'd recommend I'd recommend Soccer Bell, definitely. And um, it was a good stop for dinner. It's so close to our room as well, isn't it? Yeah, so very close. We can just um, yeah, head back and chill out now. Um, have a fairly early one before I fight tomorrow. We did decide to go for a dessert, didn't we? We did. We've yeah. got a raspberry and white chocolate panna cotta. I love how so. big the plate is for the dessert size. I know, I know. But to be fair, I don't think we've got room for much more than that at the no, moment. This is a good, good portion. Yeah. So we're back in the room now. It's about 9 pm now, isn't it? Yeah. Which, it feels really late. It does, doesn't it? Feels it feels like half 11. Like, it's I'm really so It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, we are, you can probably hear the kettles on. Um, so. I think we're gonna have a cup of tea in bed, yeah. um, like the old people that we are. And uh, I think I want to watch a, um, Behind the Attraction. Yes, on for Disney anyone Plus. who's not seen it, Behind the Attraction on Disney Plus. If you're a Disney Parks fan, so yeah. good. And actually, the new series probably be out by the time this vlog series has started. So are all the episodes um, out, or is it just one at a time? Because I really want to watch yeah, the Pirates of the Caribbean. There's a Big one. Thunder Mountain episode, Pirates of the Caribbean. So yeah, watch that. But we're gonna watch um, an episode from the first series to get us in the Disney spirit. Um, because tomorrow we're going to be at Walt Disney World Hotel. I can't Hotel. believe it that, like, when I say this time tomorrow, obviously, like, time difference-wise, but, like, tomorrow, 9pm, we'll be at Coronado, which is just, like, I know. crazy to think. But I haven't shown off my nails yet. No, you haven't. I just thought that then. So, Liam's mum, she does amazing nail art, and she's done Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, a Sally. hint for our Halloween party attire. Yeah, how amazing are these? They're brilliant, aren't they? She did that all freehand as well, so... I can't believe I didn't show them all. Yeah. Yes, they're exciting. Very exciting. But yeah, I think um, we're going to watch something like that with a cup of tea in bed because we're old and boring. We are old and boring. We're old and boring. Um, quick thoughts on Vivra, the restaurant in Sofitel? Really nice. I would have said it was overpriced, but actually, when we kind of looked at the bill entirely, like me and your mum shared a bottle of wine, mm -hmm. so taking the wine out of it, I, I mean, don't think too... We split two it three starters, ways, didn't two we? Two mains and, and one dessert because we shared it so two we, diet so, codes. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't horrendous. I think it came to, what, 116? Yeah, for us, so like, yeah, like Jenny said, so we had two starters, two mains, one dessert between us, two, cut, two diet cokes. And half and a bottle of wine. Half a bottle of wine, 113 pounds, which when you consider it's at an airport hotel, Maybe we're maybe we're obscured by Disney pricing. I don't know, but I don't think that's too bad. Twenty five pound um, for a carbonara sounded horrendous, but then actually, when we got the entire bill, and I kind of weighed it up, and I thought, you know what? Mm. Considering that we are literally the airport is there, we can see the yeah, terminal. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that was horrendous, but it was a really lively meal. Yeah, um, the yeah, starter yeah. was really nice. The antipasto with the hams and everything so yeah, that's really nice starter and dessert were really nice my main it was just a burger like don't really know what i was expecting but i had a little bit of food envy um, mine, if I'm was, mine um, was banging i'm not gonna lie but, mine was really good you know i've got i've got to learn on this holiday you know food envy is uh, very common in florida but mm -hmm. as it was it was still a nice meal still finished everything off um, i think everyone else enjoyed it the kids meal was generally good i know um the dessert was a bit not quite right i mean the chocolate that they did the chocolate yeah, dipping sauce so it was, was like fruit. really dark, dark it was chocolate. a it was a fruit salad with marshmallows and chocolate sauce and we thought oh that sounds really good but the fruit was quite sour which i mean mm. for me personally i quite like that but obviously for a little one not ideal and then the chocolate i work with chocolate guys that was bitter that it was, was bitter, not yeah. for a child uh -huh. so considering that was on like the kids menu yeah so i don't think it was personally worth it so but yeah to be fair the value of the kids i can't tell you exactly what it was but it mm -hmm. was quite good value from what um amanda and josh had said 
Yeah. Um, and the staff were really attentive. They were um, really lovely, weren't it's they? It's a little bit slow, but again, like, um, you know, it's an airport hotel. You can't, Saturday you know, night, Saturday it's busy, night. you know. So overall, I, I would recommend it. I'd recommend the soft hotel. Obviously, we've not slept in the bed yet, but the room's lovely. The location's perfect. Definitely um, stay here again from first impressions. Yeah, there's also a few other restaurants to pick from. So there's Vanda, um, which I think yeah. is an Asian-inspired restaurant. There's um, a French restaurant, La Brasserie as well. So you've definitely got your choice, you know, a range of, of options for food. Just point it out that though, um, it wasn't easy to book the restaurant and it wasn't no. easy to find the menu. So when mm-hmm. we looked online, because we like to look at menus beforehand and pretty much decide what we're having, mm-hmm. and we sat down and the menu was entirely different. And yeah. then some of us had things on the menu that others yes. didn't. yeah. And that, that was strange, really yeah. weird. Like, we didn't even know they did a burger until I, I found it was out gone. It, I was found, like, oh, yeah. yeah, they do a well, burger. I, I saw somebody else on another table with it. I was like, oh, You're thinking, you hey, why <laughs> so, is there a burger? Um, but, yeah, no, as it was, like I say, um, in order to book it, I called them up, but they're like food reservation line didn't work so i just called the main reception and then managed to book it through them so it wasn't the um, easiest but no. to be fair the meal was really nice staff were nice just book in advance yeah yeah, yeah. no i'm i'm really happy and yeah. i'm excited for a cup of tea and uh-huh. we've got a what is it we're setting our alarm for like quarter to six tomorrow morning. probably about that yeah we said yeah. we'll meet everyone down in like the reception lobby area at like seven um because you know although we've got the assisted passage for jenny and, and mum i mean obviously they managed to walk across to the other terminal today but I struggled today it, with that. i think it's really yeah. like done you in a bit and i think the same for mum so it's good that we've got the wheelchairs tomorrow obviously mm-hmm. hopefully get through the security quite quickly as we did last time and then we'll obviously find somewhere for breakfast and do a bit of duty-free shopping i'm sure but um yeah i think uh Obviously, this is not the end of the vlog. This is the halfway point. So thank you for reaching this stage, at least. And this is just a good point, I think, to remind you that if you do like our videos, please do like and subscribe because Absolutely. it does really good for the channel that we want to build up our subscriber count as much as possible so we can continue to bring you more videos. You know, we want to become a bigger channel and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, this series and this vlog. But um, Everyone loves a travel day, don't Oh, they? I love a travel we day. We love watching travel days. We love days, a travel day, so. yeah. We, we, yeah. My favourite kind of uh, Florida vlog, I have to say. Oh, it so. gets you so excited to go and mm. think about going definitely so we hope we've given that um, impression to you but we'll see you very shortly for us it's off to bed well after a cup of tea and a behind the attraction but we'll, we'll see, see you, you in a few minutes in a few minutes um <laughs> for our official travel day so thanks for watching so far morning. morning it's about half six isn't it yes it is yeah bright and early um someone was out of bed very early this morning weren't you i'm just excited i couldn't sleep last night yeah she said that but i looked over a few times and it was but there you go. <laughs> no, I I have to say, um, yeah, I struggled to sleep. I, I the the pillows weren't particularly comfy in here. Um, but, it's just really squishy. Yeah, but, but some people find that comfy. If you like a soft bed, it's nice. And I did it. To be fair, it was a nice bed. Um, but yeah, we generally had a good night's sleep. Shower was mm-hmm. really good in this room as well, actually. Um, you got like the rainfall one as well as the thingy. But yeah, would recommend the soft hotel here at um, Gatwick uh, North Terminal. Um, yeah, but, it's really quiet. You don't hear anyone else um, walking past. No, rain, so. no, not at all. I think it's supposed to be soundproof, so oh, that yeah, was good. Right. But yeah. um, we watched uh, an episode of Behind the Attraction, or I did. Someone fell asleep. I they? warned you I would fall asleep. Nah, that's I fair think. enough, yeah. but um, So I watched that. I got in a Disney mood last night. But as you can see just behind us... Oh, oh, oh. Ta-da! It's uh, morning, as it's down very early morning. Very busy down there. Um, with a lot of people arriving for their flights, of course. But ours is at um, 10.40 this morning. Um, but we're just obviously trying to get through um, as early as we can. So we've got um, Jenny's wheelchair over there, which mm. we're obviously going to be taking with us. I've grown some ears. You've grown some ears, yeah. We're both in our spirit jerseys. Yeah, I've got the Halloween one. We got it from the Disney store in London. So it says Happy Halloween rather than like Disney World or like Disney Parks. And I'm, I'm wearing the one I got from Disneyland Paris this year. So the Mickey Mouse sound cartoon one, which is really cool. So yeah, so we're, we're Disney geared up and ready to go. Um, and yeah, we'll show you along the ride. Like, so we're using assisted passage this morning with a wheelchair in that, aren't we? For both mm-hmm. you and mum. Um, for my mum basically has um, been recovering from uh, surgery last year, several months. So we've got that for her too. Um, and then hopefully once we've got through that all okay, um, sorry, I'm cutting you out. Um, <laughs> once we've got through that all okay, we'll go and grab some breakfast and uh, yeah, do the usual sort of duty free browsing. And, oh, uh, I can't wait. Going. We're on our way. It doesn't still doesn't feel real, does it? It, really it doesn't. doesn't, doesn't. I don't know. I think once we're actually in the airport, it'll be like, whoa, okay, mm. this is it now. And just um, in case, obviously, because it's going to be a busy day, I might forget to say things. So just our plan of action is obviously we're landing around 3 p.m. at Terminal C, the brand new terminal. Mm-hmm. Um, probably won't get to show you too much of that today, but obviously 
when we fly back, I might be able to. Um, and then uh, we're going to use the Miz Connect service, um, which was $33 per couple um, one way to get over to our first resort of the holiday, which is... Coronado Springs. Yes, Coronado Springs, the moderate uh, Disney resort. So we're really excited to be going back there. We loved it last year, so we'll check in there. Starting our trip at Disney this year, whereas last time we started at Universal. I know. Um, It'd be nice to do it the other way around. Absolutely, yeah. And we'll see what kind of what sort of amount of time we've got. We may head over and grab some supplies. That's if we might be really tired and just mm -hmm. want to stay at the hotel. Well, last um, year we were a bit silly and we actually went into we did, Universal Studios, didn't, didn't we? Because we? Yeah. we had to go in to sort the disability pass, and we thought, oh, we'd rather do that the night before, like our first full day. Mm -hmm. So we'd gone and we'd sorted that and then we were like oh screw it let's just go on et and men and black yeah and, oh we were the, so the vlog tired. was so patchy as well because oh, <laughs> i was so tired yeah we were just delirious it was so tiring it really was it, was great it really fun, was though. but i think i calculated if we try and stay out till like 10 11 p.m u.s time tonight we will have been away for about 22 hours so i'm gonna try and get a bit of sleep on the plane if, mm -hmm. if possible but um yeah so that's that's the plan of action anyway oh and yeah for dinner tonight we have, it sounds weird to say dinner tonight. I know. Um, we have a dining reservation already yeah. at uh, Maya Grill at Coronado Springs. So nice and easy at the resort itself. Thought it might help us stay awake a bit later as yeah. well. Um, but yeah, really excited for that. So thanks for following along so far. Um, and yeah, let's head to the airport. Ooh, see you later. <laughs> you ready? We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We've We're just fresh. been joined. Here we go. And I'm some... the only one with it. I'm disappointed they're not where it is. I know, you're really ready for the occasion. Right. Halloween is and everything. Yeah, I've been ready since quarter past six. So we've got the wheelchair and we're planning on, well, I think you're going to push it for now, aren't you? And then... Yeah, because I can't wheel myself and look very strong. God, so. I just think uh, looking in the background, our bathroom looks a mess, doesn't it, the way we've left it? Mm. I put that tissue down because um spiked my foot, didn't I? Yeah, there's a carpet spike sticking out. So I, I had the clever idea of if we put a tissue there, then we know to step over it. So yeah, it exactly. Together. But you excited? Very excited. Very excited. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's starting. Yeah, there you go. It's st starting to get light out there now, isn't it? It's um, I'm busy. Very, I'm very busy. busy. Yeah, well, let's go. And ladies, this is how it's done. Poor John's got everything. Oh, what <coughs> we there. On the pack horse. I think we said we we're actually going to put everything on the uh, wheelchair for now. You definitely okay walking there, yeah? Yeah, this is a good little thing to lean on. Yeah, that's true. You can get the, the cases. Yeah, my, my cases with my Mickey tag on them. Someone's got their ears on. And look, little Disney outfit. You ready to go, Rosie? The fear of going back to work? Check. Then why not check out an easy check the minute you get home? Get ready for those holiday moves. So we're through security. Yeah, that was pretty pain free. There were seven of us, and then that just adds to the chaos, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, we're all through it, all fine. Yeah, Everyone it was, can uh, guess where we're going. Luckily, we had someone for assistance, so um, he managed to push you whilst I took like the cases and bags and stuff, which was really helpful. So mm -hmm. we all got through in the end. Um, it's never nice going through security, but, no, but um, we're free now. Yeah, we're free. We're gonna. I think um, some of them, Manda and that, are just popping into boots to grab a couple of bits, aren't yeah. they? And then we're gonna head over that way. There's a place called Vagabond Bar and Kitchen. We've got Wonder, Wonder Tree. Tree Cafe and Restaurant. It's a Nando's there. I think because all of those restaurants, I think they overlook the planes. So we're going to see if we can bag a window seat. I don't know, hopefully. I'm very um, hungry though. I think I'm ready for breakfast now. Yeah. After all of that faff of security. Oh, I'm very hungry. Yeah. We were told, so we got an email this morning that our flight is particularly busy. Um, so they were asking people to check in hand luggage. Obviously we're not doing that, but we're quite grateful that we're one, gonna, probably going to be one of the first ones on with the assisted passage because mm -hmm. it sounds like it's going to be busy. But um, yeah, excited. I'm hungry now. So this is the menu here at Wonder Tree. Um, we're thinking of a few different things. You've got some chicken and waffles on there um, to get in the American spirit, or to be fair, there's just a classic English breakfast. Jenny, are you thinking of the chorizo and egg croissant? I think that's what I'm going to go for. That we are and eyeing up. Latte. Yes. latte. Any coffee? What are you thinking, John? Any ideas? I like the sound of the croissant. The croissant yeah. as well. The chorizo and egg croissant or the salmon. Croissant. The salmon one as well, yeah, the salmon one's it interesting. But it's a really good menu here to be fair. Um, and the coffee is a must. The coffee is a must. Yeah, all the coffee's down here. You've got some smoothies as well um, and some cocktails if you, you want to get started early. <laughs> but yeah, we're in the wonder tree here. 
the views of the plains over there too so it's quite nice in here it's pretty busy so breakfast has been served i've just gone for the big english um no beans but replaced it with another yeah, hash brown for this now because that has rocked that up so john yeah, and like, jenny oh, have no. both got oh, two interesting choice. choices what have you gone um, it's very good isn't it that's poached egg and chorizo croissant very nice and you went for the salmon one no the chorizo oh no it's the well. same sorry the same. oh yeah yeah it's the same and then we've got a little english breakfast there Mm. And some toast. And I'm so sorry, I've got loads of baked beans. I yeah. didn't want that many baked beans. I'm not a fan of baked beans. For so people I've... who don't know, Liam has like a genuine fear of baked beans. It really freaks him out. So yeah. not no, no, I'm not even showing it. Right <laughs> and hence why I've replaced it with uh, another hash brown. So I'm looking forward to tucking into this. So this is the view right by the window, if you're sat here, uh, Wonder Tree. We've got a Wizz Air, we've got a Norwegian, we've got Air Europe. No sign of our BA. Uh, um, I think they actually said we're at gate 17. So, oh yeah, that could be actually up there. Um, if I can zoom in. Yeah, it might, or is that? Yeah, they have a BA plane up there. Yeah, I think that's our plane, number 18. Do love looking out of an airport window. So we've all split off. Um, Jenny has gone with the others to uh, accessorise, I believe. Um, and poor old John has been left with all of the bags back in the disabled area. So um, I've just gone for a wander. I think I'm going to have a little look in the World Duty Free, WH Smith maybe. Uh, we've not got a lot of time. We've got to be in the disabled area at 9.40 is when the boarding gate opens. And uh, we've got to be there, for, that's about an hour before, um, an hour before departure. So. Yeah, just gonna have a little wander around duty free now. I've um, only got about half hour. Uh, I might even grab a sandwich or something for the plane because I'm not a huge fan of plane food. If you saw our vlog last year, I did actually end up um, eating on there. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to this time around. So just have a little wander at the duty free. Rarely do I buy anything, but it's always good to have a little mooch. I do wonder how many people go for these. I mean, it seems quite, quite pricey to me but I do get a lot and we've got some different flavors here like Twix salted caramel isn't Twix caramel anyway and then you've got some hero celebrations Kit Kats and things up here and obviously the usual selection of perfumes and stuff that everybody goes for look who's joined me you okay I'm good. Did you get anything in accessorised? I got some stickers for Rosie to play with. Yeah. Um, Amanda bought a swimsuit, um, a necklace. Oh my God, I really? was very reserved. Yeah, yeah it sounds like reserved. it. But look, I just said, really random point, but we've got this penguin, haven't oh, we? Oh, Perla. Yeah. This is Perla. We have Perla. Perla. She's so So we soft. picked her up from the service station on the yeah, way to Scotland, didn't we? It's a Christmas one. What's, her name? What's this one's name? Oh, no. What have I started now? Oh, yeah. We need the Christmas one. Poppy. Poppy. That's oh. cute. Oh. Poppy and Pearl. Yeah, Pearl is on our bed at home. Dad at the and stepmom's she? dog. She's um, called Poppy, isn't she? Yeah. So, so. Have you told YouTube about your penguin obsession? I said we've got a penguin obsession. But I love them too, so we have quite a few penguins. We do collect penguins. Aww. We've already got her. I miss her now. I want to bring her with us. Also, look. Mm -hmm. I want to show you something. Oh, yeah, thank you. Since when do they do white chocolate digestives? I didn't know they did white chocolate. I don't know about them for the plane because I don't want it to be a It'd bit, be a bit crumbly. And crumbly. But since when do they do them? I didn't know they do When we get white home, chocolate. I need to track these down in like Tesco oh. and that. Got little mini Oreos as well. I'm not I'm controversial. I don't like Oreos. So you're not going to the right place then. No, in Florida. I it's just I don't mind the white ones, but the I don't like the black in my teeth. Pretty sure the cookie of the month in Gideon's is um, got no. Oreos in it. I know these the are nice though. One. Yeah, Nutella biscuits. They're nice. They've got a whole range of your Cadbury's and Tony's chocolate there too. I spotted some fruit salad sweets, which I might pick up. Oh yeah, I just saw them. Yeah, just over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, we're on the board. Plane. Yeah, it was quite easy getting through. It, it was. Yeah, the assistance was really helpful. I think um, there must have been a mistake that was made, but the woman we had, she was so nice. So we're all on, easy peasy. We've got our bags right above us, so couldn't be better. Busy flight as well. Very full. Very cool. Estimated arrival time 5.20 a.m. I don't think that's right somehow, but um, yeah, got all of the entertainment on here. Got oh, Elemental. That's pretty cool. That might have been when they the plane landed at five something. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right, yeah, yeah. Is that right, 7,000 kilometers roughly? Uh, I don't know, I 
don't know, it's like 4,100 miles? I don't know, in kilometres. Yeah, but some good films on here. I think I saw Elvis is on here, which I want to watch. Um, yeah, Elemental as well, which uh, we watched quite recently. Really good, I'd really recommend it, actually. Um, you always want to watch a Disney film en route. Oh, you got a bit of The Grinch as well. Yeah. That's brilliant, that is. Encanto. Oh, I said if Encanto's on, I'm going to watch it. Oh, I'm definitely going to watch that. That's a, that's a good one, a really good Disney feel good. Um, I think I must be in the kids section at the moment. Lilo and Stitch, Luca, a lot of Disney films on here. I'm sorry, when did Mariah Carey have a Christmas movie? Yeah, I've not What's heard that of that. About? I have no idea. You thinking of anything you want to watch, Hello? John? Well, I haven't looked at the films yet. No, it's quite, a good, quite a good variety on there. So, yeah, getting ready for takeoff. I wouldn't bother with John Wick 4. No, oh, it was pretty atrocious. No, that was no, awful. We, was so bad. we saw that in the cinema, didn't we? I with, never fall asleep in the John. cinema, but that is one I did goes off on. I'm not yeah, going Our personal opinion, we would say avoid that. Oh, Shrek! Oh, uh, I might have to watch Shrek. Now they've got rid of the Shrek attraction at Universal. I need Shrek my Shrek fix. Yep, yeah. Shrek the original. There you go. Don't know when I can play these or we'll put these on. Yeah, good choice. Who watching in Canto? Is it going to say Disney 100? Oh no. Okay. I could do this though. Cheers. Cheers, John. It's a bit tight here, isn't it? But your our food's arrived. We got the last two chicken, Mediterranean chickens, it is. Yeah, Mediterranean chicken with tomato and basil also. There's John's there, so you can see what it's like. It's not too bad. Is it alright? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. We got the last two, otherwise we would have had to have a, Shall I do a little unboxing? vegetable masaka. So oh, nearly knocked over my wine. Here we go. There you go. It looks not too bad, does it? I might even give it a go. Give it a go, be I'll brave. Give it a go. So you've got um, I don't know what this is. Maybe couscous, couscous of some, some kind right? maybe. Um, you've got like a chocolate salted caramel um, yeah, dessert nice. there as well. Bread roll, classic, cracker, cheese, um, butter. Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. Oh, that's, right. <laughs> no, that's all right, thank you. Um, and then we got, oh, I got a Sprite as well, because I didn't really fancy a white thing. What did you get? It was a Sauvignon Blanc. There you go. Very nice. Cheers. Cheers. Nice. I did something really annoying and I was that person that knocked my drink over so I spilled my wine all down my legs, didn't I? I oh, know, you'd think I'd had way more than just now like... Now smell of something on block. Oh, don't be mean. Josh, am I right in saying you've got two ice creams there? Someone's oh, been yeah. a bit sneaky. Just one. <laughs> he's an ice cream smuggler. Yeah, he's an ice cream smuggler. Someone's enjoying her ice cream as well. We've got some vanilla ice cream. She's been brilliant on this fly, hasn't she? She's doing really well. So far, so good. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. Against it all, but made it do the thing, cause I find my way. I find my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I find my way at Terminal C. We're about to go through um, security now. Um, well, baggage claim, then security, I think. But yeah, it's a shiny new terminal. We were the last off the plane because of the um, uh, assistant assistance, but Jenny and my mum are riding ahead on electric wheelchairs. Um, John's push, pushing um, the wheelchair with cases on, as am I, um, like our hand luggage cases. But yeah, it's very quiet because we were the, literally the last ones off the plane, which is actually quite nice sometimes when I've, well, you don't get caught in the rush. So yeah, um, this is Terminal C. So 
so we're through uh, baggage claim we're and passport here. control. And it is 4.36. It's not too bad. I mean, we mm. sort of hit the hit the tarmac about an hour and a half ago. So now uh, we've just gone through the Miz, uh, Miz Connect check-in desk over there um, and gave them like our details and that. And they said, just wait in this area and they'll call us when our resort is ready, which is, of course, Coronado Springs. Where we're yeah. going for the start of the holiday. The assistance was really helpful, wasn't it? They're brilliant. Yeah, really yeah. good. Um, yeah, we just, we just tipped them and we're kind of good now because you see we can make our way from Get here just to the, to the bus. bus stop bit there so that's not too bad because it's not too far away time um, this is hitting now a little as bit, soon as yeah. i get in the bus i'll be all excited again though because we're yeah. literally on our way so we've got uh maya grill booked for 8 p.m and like i say it's half four at the moment so we should have enough time to get to the hotel check in de plane or whatever yeah. um, have a shower get changed. have a shower get changed and be ready for that so yeah, hopefully it won't be too long a wait. Uh, Ms. Connect was $33 per couple um, for like each way. So we've just done one way because we're coming back from Universal later mm -hmm. in the trip. Um, and you can actually book it, um, like do it upon arrival. Don't know how that affects it, but obviously it's always good to pre-book things as best you can. Um, and yeah, hopefully it won't be too long a wait. So we'll be on a bus, I assume, with people going to a few other Disney resorts too. I know, I can see the bags under my eyes. It's, I've got my uh, glasses on, my eyes are tired. <laughs> I, think, I think it's excusable after um, a long day. I was just saying, I'm feeling very sweaty in this now too, so I'm looking forward to changing. Know, the flight was really comfortable, virtually no turbulence. No, um, it was actually a really nice flight, I have to say, and we were pretty much on time. Like you say, little turbulence. Um, only a tiny bit, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, food was okay. The, the wrap we got that I didn't actually show on the vlog was a bit suspect, but... No, it was all okay. It was the good. time went really quick, didn't it? It did, yeah, yeah. So we're all excited now. We briefly went outside a second ago and felt some of the Florida heat. I think it's about 23, something like that, 23 yeah, degrees out there. Comfortable today. temperature, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, hoping we won't wait too long. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching along still. And uh, we'll show you the Mears Connect and Coronado Springs very shortly. We're on the Mears Connect. We're on our way. Is Rosie ready? So, I don't know, how long would you say we waited? Like 20 minutes? 20 minutes. About Probably 20 minutes, you went yeah. to the loo and kind of refilled your water bottle. It wasn't really that long. They kind of just wait until, um, I don't know if that's, if that aircon's too powerful for the video. Um, they kind of just wait until there's like enough people from a certain number of resorts. I think the other people on here are going to like the All Stars as well. Um, so, yeah, didn't take too long. But, um, yeah, $33, yeah, I think I already said that. $33 per couple each way, but we're very excited. We're on our way to Disney. Saying it's got the, the same smell, hasn't it, as last year? I don't year. know how to describe the Coronado smell, it just I love it, I love it. So, as you can tell from the artwork behind me, we are now at Coronado Springs. Uh, it's the Barcelona Lounge down there. We are just waiting at the moment for Bell Services to come over and help us with our cases um, because we've been put in Casitas 5, which is the same block that we were in last year, but a little bit further away from Grand Destino and El Centro, where all the restaurants and stuff are so we've got a little bit further to walk so that's why we're waiting for them and then have a little chill out time in the room do a bit of a tour and then off to Maya Grill for dinner. actually can't believe we're here it doesn't feel <sighs> real back in like the room that we loved so much not the yeah. exact room but back in the room that we loved so much it's just yeah um, it feels amazing to see the same furniture and yeah really happy we'll do a room tour in a second um but it was really good bell services brought our um cases over you so oh, i did a bit so of footage nice, wasn't it was really he? nice yeah, yeah he was just chatting to us and um 
obviously a big Disney fan himself, but he took us on the buggy to bring all of our cases over, which was really nice. And uh, obviously we gave him a, a tip and everything as well. But... I just love hearing about like people's lives. Oh, like so he nice. was telling us he was in the police for 25 years and like he worked up in New York yeah. and then like New England. And like, and I just love hearing Bell about Bell stories. I mean, they're probably all at Disney, but like at Coronado, we found that it was so friendly, yes, so nice. Yes, everyone we've had at Coronado um, like, from And to be fair, the people well. who checked us in as well were really nice, but we're just, oh my God, I can't believe we're here. The first um, smell that hit me as soon as I walked in is the H2O. And I know Oh, in the room, sorry. I thought you meant yeah, the reception. Yeah, no, in yeah, the room. Yeah. And I could immediately go, oh my God, I can smell it. So we're going to steal so many of them bottles if we can because we love them so much. Yeah, they're going. Um, for those who don't know, H2O have like, gone bust, haven't they? So I did, think so, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, you don't have the um, Disney, like they're just using up what they have now. But anyway, time for room tour. So um, I'll do a bit more of a detailed one than I did last time, but I love all of the artwork you have in here, all of like kind of the Latin American, the free caballeros kind of theming is really cool. Um, obviously just here to the left, we've got our Keurig machine, so your coffee machine. Um, and obviously they give you some capsules for that. Um, so I was told that uh, mousekeeping, as it's called, uh, is every other day and they'll change the beds every four days, I think. So that's good to know. But yeah, there's a Keurig machine. So if you like your coffee, that's always good. Um, we've also got our map here, we've got some decent plugs, our light, and we've got our TV that welcomes us into the room, which is always so sweet. Disney 100 as well, that's a nice touch, isn't it? I only just noticed that. I didn't notice that either. I think obviously last time it would have been 50th for us, right? Yeah, uh, they jumped 50 years. It's, it's not, <laughs> it's Joffrey's. Is it Joffrey's? Oh, I love Joffrey's. It's Walt Disney World, but um, last time we had um, the 50th like blend, didn't we? So yeah, we've got we did, one yeah, decaf, yeah. Um, and then... Twinings English breakfast black tea. Very nice. Yeah, but tea with cream rather than milk. Yeah, creamer milk. rather than milk. I'm uh, still undecided on that. Um, as long as I have a coffee, I don't mind. Got two beds here. I think we said we're going to sleep in this one, partly because it's slightly closer to the TV, I think, and also because um, it's obviously next to the bathroom as well. So that's plan. You've got more of the artwork there, your phone, um, obviously your lights. I really like these lights. I don't know how many Disney hotels do them, but these kind of like reading lights here by the bed are really cool. Um, but yeah, I got our beds, which is really nice. Ah, after a long day, a long oh, flight. Oh, I'm so tired, I don't want to get my shoes off. Um, after the room tour, no. Oh, <laughs> um, oh, I just love these little bits like this as a complete Disney nerd. I know everything in here already, but it's just so nice. You've got the details about the theme parks and then obviously all of the kind of time specific stuff, so special events, food and wine. Mickey's not so scary Halloween party, which we're going to, I can't wait. Um, and then we've obviously got uh, oh, our bin there, recycling and that. And then you come in here to the uh, the bathroom, which like we said, the H2O products are live and well for now, which is good to see. Um, you've got your two sinks, which is great. Um, and then if we go in here, obviously no bath in Coronado Springs, um, which can be annoying, but obviously it depends what you'd like. Quite happy with the shower, to be honest. Can't take these H2O products. These ones are uh, into the wall, but you've got your rainfall shower and your standard shower, which is good. Obviously your toilet, not that interesting, but... Yeah, so, uh, and, oh, other thing to point out is we've got an adjoining room. So um, this door is actually leading to um, Mum and John's room, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so we, we, we said we wanted to be close to each other, but there you go. I think, they didn't um, have this last time, did they? I, was, I, I noticed that as I looked at it. I think it was, yeah. I don't think they had separate recycling last No, time. I don't wrong, think they did. But that's nice to see. But, um, yeah, so they're, they're literally just next door. They came in and had a look, and they were very impressed with their room. But um, Amanda and Josh and Rosie, I think they're a little bit further away. They're in Casitas 4. We're in 5. We're in 5. And where were we last year? 2. Casitas 2. So we're a little bit further away from, like, some of the amenities and that. Bad, um, oh, any other things? Where is there? Is there a fridge? I'm guessing is there. There you go. Um, so, uh, it's average like cooler it? calls to 41 degrees and above. I oh, know. Uh, okay, it is on. It is on. Um, yeah, please contact front desk services now. It's yeah, fine. So, we are here, whereas last time yes. we were here. A little so, mickey. it's a little further along. Yeah, um, so for those who don't know Coronado, where we were um, earlier in the footage when you check in is the Grand Destino Tower. Then come round and you've got El Centro. That's where you've kind of got all the quick service, the shop, that kind of thing. That's what, like, when in the old days of Coronado, it used to be like the main point, but obviously since Grand Destino, that's changed. Then you come straight into Casitas, but we're on the very edge of that kind of verging into the Rancho's area. What's really nice is when, um, so 
know to know when the weather is bad they shut the bridges oh, yes, um yeah, but if the weather is good then we can just cut across to three bridges and then the pool um, yes the dig site is the main pool at coronado springs but you also have local pools as you can see here we've got a little one by casitas so when you think about it amanda and josh are only here they're not that far away from us to be fair um, you've got you've got so three areas at Coronado. You've got Casitas, you've got Ranchos, and you've got Cabanas. So Casitas is where we were last year. Ranchos is a sort of more like bungalow kind of thing. I think you've got like the um, hammocks and stuff around oh, Ranchos. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Don't know I'm much about the little beachy area. Don't know much about Cabanas other than the fact it's sort of the closest to Grand Destino. So I think the thing to remember about Coronado is mm. wherever you stay, you're far away from something and you're close to something. Yeah, you're true. either close to the pool or closer to the it um, feels quick service. Like the most grown up least disney disney resort if that makes sense yes yeah. um but I, I love it i've not even i've not stayed in another moderate and i think it's the best moderate so i know it's a very biased point of view, point of view but yeah. yeah we love it but that's our full room tour so a really nice touch amanda josh and rosie gave um jenny and i and mum and john some uh, cupcakes they got delivered to the hotel so how nice are these we've got Little Mickey Halloween ones with a little ghost and the uh, Mickey pumpkin. We look forward to tucking into them, won't we? Oh, this so How cute. sweet is that? So that was vanilla. Uh, I yeah, I think vanilla. vanilla. If you look on the yeah regular vanilla with oh, frosted, so it's from Waterside yes. Bake. So we'll let you know how good they are. But um, how nice is that? Oh, what a nice touch. Yeah. Really nice. And on the note of food, we're going to head to Maya Grill now. So we're all dressed up and ready to go. Oh, there's a bug. Um, <laughs> Good thing we got spray on. Polo shirt. You've yeah, got your got Coronado dress, dress on. on. Um, you're gonna, your leggies are aching a bit, aren't they? But we're just they gonna... are. But a nice dinner would be lovely. My grill's not too far a walk, but everyone's raced off at the moment. Um, but we're all showered and clean. We're all ready showered to go. and clean, and yeah, and then we're gonna sort our room out when we get back. Aren't yeah, we? unpack um, things. But I was just um, saying a second ago on a clip, if I left it in, um, how much I love Coronado at night. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? So pretty. So pretty, and so the smells pretty. and the water. Ah, oh, so happy to be here. So for those who've not been to Coronado Springs, the main like um, lake, if you like, has uh, three bridges running through it, which all meet in the middle at a place called Via del Lago, otherwise known as Three Bridges, which is uh, one of our favorite restaurants. We're really excited to go there later in the trip. Um, but yeah, that explains it, but it's really nice just to walk along the bridge um, and it's quite nice from we're obviously based over that way in Casitas so makes it quite easy for us to to uh, walk get about places it's kind of a bit of a shortcut which is nice because otherwise you'd have to walk all the way around there and last time we were about there and obviously you've got El Centro area over there so no really nice and the beautiful water as always as I was saying there's Via del Lago I've always known three bridges looking forward to going there later in the trip there's Grandestino. So we're now in El Mercado de Coronado and uh, just telling everybody about the uh, refillable cups over here, um, which we're going to pick up in a second. So it's $21.99 for a cup. You get it, uh, and that's basically free refills at your hotel or any other Disney resort for two weeks, I believe. And that's like for soft drinks coffee hot chocolate which is really good and tea as well so everyone's just picking out theirs at the moment um because we had a bit of time to kill before my grill um but yeah we'll probably eat it here at some point definitely for breakfast anyway um but yeah you've got loads of variety you've got like pizzas and stuff over there kind of your standard fast food stuff but it's actually quite calm as far as a lot of these kind of quick service place goes that's what i really like and then obviously you've got like grab and go snacks and things like that too so i'm gonna go and pick my mug scrap that we're going to come back afterwards because we don't want to uh carry our mugs into the restaurant but we've had a look now we know what ones we're getting do you have an idea what one you're going to get i don't know i don't know which one i want i'm not sure no. well they've got the hundredth one which i think is what i'm going to end up getting now heading into maya grill i think i've decided on my starter i'm going to go for that Jenny's now thinking she's going to go for the chicken and tortilla soup. It, I'll be so intrigued and it's the kind of thing that like, you can get at home. Why not so, then? I think why not first night at the So that is chipotle chicken, guajillo vegetable broth, avocado tortilla strips, $12. That's kind of the average price for a lot of these starters. I've been eyeing this up for a long time, the Baja fish tacos. So I'm going to go for them. Drinks, lots of margaritas to choose from. Um, and then you've got 
crafted cocktails and some non-alcoholic tea. I've got a I've tried to speak up over music. I've got a coconut margarita. Is it nice? That's good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I went for the spicy strawberry basil margarita. Oh. So, yeah. That's nice. I really like that. Good. Very colourful, isn't it? So apparently this salsa is chipotle, it's very spicy, and then these two are a bit more mild, but yeah, looking forward to tucking into these. And your soup. I didn't know what to expect, but um, yeah. He it's poured really it over cool. the top, didn't he, of the... Go on, first taste. Oh yeah, that's really nice. good. Nice, yeah, good. Yeah, really nice. That is amazing. Really creamy. This is so nice. It's so warming and hearty. I just, yeah, big fan. Didn't know what to expect, but I really like it. Yeah, that is huge. Huge. The main courses have arrived. I'm very impressed with these Baja fish tacos. My voice went there. So I was told apparently these go really well with that green salsa. So we'll give them a go. And then these are yucca fries which look quite crispy with chimichurri on. I think you if you've got a plate. DIY fajitas over there. I have yeah I'm missing a plate for it but yeah. this all looks really good. You've got your tortilla wraps and then steak. I'm getting full now. I don't know if I'm gonna it's gonna be a battle to manage that last fish taco. These are interesting though. I did like them. You've decided to go without the tortilla now haven't you? Too messy and now I'm getting trying full. to eat the steak. Steak looked good though. Yeah it's really nice. Mum you weren't too too big a fan of yours, were you the enchiladas? It's okay, just too much of the green sauce Yeah, so I had some of that on this and it was actually getting a bit spicy for it me. It made it a bit sloppy, didn't it? Yeah. It made it a bit sloppy, but other than that, it was lovely. How about yours? Chicken tortillas, gluten free, but yeah, as you can see, the corn tortillas, really nice. Yeah, that was really good. I'd recommend the, you know, the mixture, but not the gluten-free. I think that's been a common thing. You've decided to go for just the filling and yeah. dish the thing. I think you have to. I know, to be fair, John's gone in for it. He's been, he's been using the tortilla. Yeah, mum, was like, I was like, Yeah, that's good. Thoughts on Maya Grill then? Yeah, really nice. I'm tired now. It's, it's really good. Yeah, I think everyone's a bit, yeah, knocked out. Where do you go again? <laughs> you want to go to the park now, John? <laughs> yeah. Let's see the fireworks. <laughs> So we stopped off in Panchitos. Um, oh, Coco is Liam's favourite. They're just so limited for me. Magic Band Plus. How much is it? I actually don't know. I'm not. It's usually like coded with colour. Uh, uh, a limited release. It? it doesn't have a. Don't know. I'm gonna assume on the higher end. If I'm being we're real. probably talking at a minimum, aren't we? It's it is like really nice. Sage thirty four ninety nine. I don't know. Actually. Not sound really dim, but limited release. That means obviously there's not that many of them. Well, yeah, like but they're a not going to make more yeah, of them, so more. It, that's not like a regular collection. See, the golden rule in Disney is if you like something, you buy it there and then. But I am going to have a think about that because I do already have a magic band, which I've already put on. And you put yours on? Do you want to show yours yeah, on? Yeah, my last Minnie year? Mouse from last oh. year. Yeah, Minnie Mouse one. So we got these last year, didn't mm -hmm. we? Um, and linked them back up again. But we'll probably have a proper look in the shop. The thing um, is, we're staying here, a... so you know it's here. But just a very quick look. You've got a lot of the Halloween stuff already out. And you've got a Halloween Mickey... Look at Halloween Mickey, he's so cute. And he is, how much? Let's guess, $40, $30. That's quite cool. And you've got the Halloween spirit jersey, which I've seen in quite a few places. The Mickey Halloween ears, they're cool. Lots of Halloween stuff. Oh, what have you got here? These are the ears I saw on TikTok that I was uh, showing Liam. It's got all the oh, um, park yes. icons, yes. but the bow is detachable. So this you is can brilliant. Take the bow off, so then it can just be like a, the plain black with the Mickey. This is golden vlog footage. This is quite literally. I I want to buy these. I think they're thirty four ninety nine, um, but they're like. They give me sex. I can wear them with the bow. Liam can take the bow off. Is this a buy now kind of thing? Or? I, I really feel like it is. How much is it, sorry? $34.99. I saw it on TikTok. That's right. how I know. Because you know what? I said to you earlier, I've not got any ears specific for Animal Kingdom tomorrow. Oh, but look, they're so cute. If we took the bow off, then I could wear them. Done. Let's go. Check out. <laughs> See you in a bit. 
as I say, we'll go into more detail in our um, another video, but it's just some of the variety of stuff you've got here in the Panchito shop at Coronado Springs. Lots of mugs, lots of cocoa stuff, um, and uh, lots of Encantos, an Encanto section. Again, we'll show you soon. But as there is with all of these Disney shops, we've got the classic um, sort of Disney candy and cookies, that kind of thing. Um, I like the sound of the um, graham cracker Mickey cookies, but I can't see them at the moment. But you do have these chocolate chip cookies, which are quite interesting. Jenny and I are going to buy these ears because it's detachable. I can wear them. She can wear them. $34.99. It's basically $17.99. So, uh, or $17.98. So that's what we're going to do anyway. But I'm tired. So I think we're going to head back to the room. And with that, we're back in the room. It has been a very long day and I'm sure a very long travel day vlog it's quarter past 10 i think we've done quite well actually we had a very big meal yeah it's about quarter past grill. three probably for us now roughly mm -hmm. it's always that tricky bit of um kind of adjusting to um a florida holiday we kind of i said a minute ago so i feel a bit kind of i'm not taking everything in i feel like i'm not maybe quite myself because you feel a bit delirious don't mm -hmm. you kind of at this stage but um no we had a good night the family really impressed with coronado i think for it definitely to be. yeah they knew it'd be nice but i think they were kind of surprised it was as nice as yeah it and i think we're, we're happy to be back here oh, aren't I, love we? I, lo I love yeah. the room and just walking around at night it's just so peaceful mm -hmm. and like yeah i love it and seeing grand destino all lit up so yeah um my grill i think was generally good like i um yeah definitely i enjoyed everything i had obviously you would have seen the um coconut margarita the um, chips which he brought more of which I couldn't eat but they were really nice the chips and salsa and the queso that I ordered with that and then the Baja fish tacos um, as well I wasn't a huge fan of the yucca fries that that came with but mm -hmm. personal preference um, and you enjoyed yours would you say oh yeah I had the spicy strawberry basil margarita mm -hmm. um, they weren't lying when they said it was spicy mm, um, had a kick to it but I was kind of really into that it was really refreshing to have a cocktail that wasn't like really really sweet which is Different, kind of what yeah. I would tend to gravitate towards so that was really nice um i think i preferred my starter to my main mm -hmm. um i had the chicken tortilla soup uh -huh. so different but um that really lovely, nice harshy. yeah really really nice really flavorsome um with the shredded chicken and stuff honestly really really good and to be fair that like the steak um fajitas they weren't bad fajitas it was just kind of like standard mm -hmm. um that feels really mean saying it but the whole atmosphere of the restaurant our server could not have been better he mm. was so friendly and mm. so nice oh he's amazing so attentive and um sorry i interrupted you but um the uh musician the, the kind of kind of um, live yeah, music yeah the live music I just think... the atmosphere in there was just really really good so for me like i really like my cocktail definitely if they had that soup as a main like I would recommend that. Mm -hmm. Um that was definitely like my fate like the highlight of my meal, mm -hmm. um, food wise. But your cheese, your queso dip. The queso is lovely. That was really yeah, good. it was really nice. Yeah, yeah, there was some really big highlights to it to be fair. So I it think, was just really good for our first dining reservation with the family. I think the USP for that restaurant, my grill, is like is the live music and the atmosphere in there. Don't get me wrong, the food is good too, but like I just think that was really nice. It was just like quite chill, quite, it was actually quite a good restaurant choice, despite the fact we absolutely shattered and these bags under my eyes have got bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was a really good choice for a first restaurant actually, because it was like really chill and yeah, just nice, quiet. Um, obviously wasn't going to go to a park tonight. Um, we were, um, we did do a bit of shopping there, didn't we? We did do a bit of shopping. Yeah. So I think I, I showed what we were going to get, but, um, I just to reiterate, you can try them on now. Controversial, but with the people that cut the tags off, I know some people love to keep them on and. Well, well you are, I don't really mind, but no, you I don't said like you are. Yeah. I don't like it tickling here cause it feels like a bug or something, mm -hmm. but, um, the detachable bow is just such a cute idea. I saw it on TikTok. So with the park icons, all the same, man. It covers them a bit, it's doesn't a bit it? Hidden. But yeah. Um, yeah, really cute. Really yeah. lovely. Cute. I like it because it's like the kind of ears you could wear to all four parks. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so they're like for both of us because obviously the bow can come off, so I can wear them as standard I Mickey know. ears. I just, it's so um, it's just a little popper. Yeah. If I can do it with my nails now, so then. I mean, you could wear them that way around if you wanted the gold yeah, in the front. Yeah, I could do, yeah. And then... 
That's too far back. No, you that's great. when you put them on someone else. That's great. And I think they're quite suited to our first park day tomorrow, which is where? Animal Kingdom Lodge. Animal Kingdom. Oh, sorry. Animal Kingdom, not Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom Lodge. You're tired. <laughs> that's travel brain. Yeah, so we're going to Animal Kingdom tomorrow for our first park day, which I'm really excited for. And I was saying, I don't really have a pair of ears that suit Animal Kingdom, but I think the gold and everything, yeah, I think it could yeah, work. Yeah, I love it. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we could keep talking, but we'll probably just ramble because we're so tired. But just, yeah, if you've made it this far, I can imagine this was a really long vlog based on how much I filmed. So obviously it started when we arrived at the Sofitel in uh, London Gatwick. Oh so God, it was a long that time feels ago. Like a week ago. I know. So really well done to you if you've stuck with this because mm. that's brilliant. So thank you. Um, and if you have enjoyed this vlog, then please do like and subscribe because if you subscribe, you'll be notified of all our future um vlogs coming out from this series it's gonna be a big one as you can see um lots more to come in our next vlog it will be animal kingdom it won't be as long a vlog i can promise you that but um we've got some exciting stuff planned for tomorrow including tiffin follow along on our insta um, though we've been sharing yes. a lot in the last 24 hours so that's been exciting isn't it yes our instagram liam jen uh, at liam jen adventures so please do go and give that a follow as well but yeah just thank you so much for watching <sighs> we are absolutely I'm shattered done. Um, and I think we're done. But yeah, thank you, and we will see you next time. See Goodbye. I'm loving this moment. Can we say?